Night City, welcome back. My guest tonight is Lieutenant Sarah Kotowski, spokeswoman for the NCPD. Hi there, welcome to the show. Uh, hello, Ziggy. Thanks for having me. I hope you made it to the studio without any issues. No carjackings or drive-bys along the way. <laughs> no, no. Uh, fortunately, the streets of Night City are getting safer every day. We've seen recorded homicides drop from 7,103 a year ago to just... Uh, hold on, hold on. The streets are safe, you say, but what about the highways? I'm, I'm sorry? You heard about the shooting off the Route 1 exit, I trust. Half an hour before any response team arrived on the scene. Over 700 rounds fired in that time. Well, the NCPD is responsible for the safety and security of all citizens within the city limits, but, uh, Route 1... Sarah, Sarah, sweetheart, don't feed us some NCPD script. Be honest with our viewers. When will they finally be safe? When will they no longer need to carry a concealed weapon for a trip to the mall or to take their kids to play ball in the park? NCPD is doing everything it can. Huh. Look at that cop squirm.
Kimura here. We must meet. Come to Tom's diner. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Tom's diner. I am waiting. Don't forget. You're worthy. Sale. Only top shelf gear. Seen you in a good one, two, few weeks. <laughs> Figured you'd skip town.
quitting Night City is not as easy as you think. Sort of like an abusive relationship, huh? Listen, uh, I could use a little load in the old pocket. Want to peek at some fresh gear? Sure, let me see what you got.
Johnny, did you see what happened? Something feels off here. You don't say. Don't mean the wreck. I mean the run. The city's most courteous chauffeur ups and drives away from the scene of an accident. Sit. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. You think I ought to have a word with her myself? She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. V? Why you figure she skipped town? I tried to locate her, but had no success. I suspect she covered her tracks. You said Parker could help you remove the relic. Does she work for a corporation? Got no clue. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma to be sure. But she showed that slyness you get in corporal agents. You know the kind. I too possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed out, lumped with the outcasts, easily. Or have you forgotten? Mm. Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, so... Hey, wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka. 
must answer for this crime of patricide. Looking for justice in Night City. I seek revenge, much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinov to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are its heart. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist. Thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. Untrue. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more pawn. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scum was everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Last thing we want to do is to draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. I'll get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. There's no time luck. to waste, B. I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor Among Thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. 
I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Infected? Where to? Some other corp poach him? As far as I can tell, he acted alone. A meticulous man. He planned it. Covered his tracks very well. Any idea where he took off to? None. Somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called The Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. Take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo Sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka is still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make it like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dickwipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. Why should I trust you? Remind me again. Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. You're the ghost of Chris's past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. <laughs> 